course, if you do see anything like that, you know, like I told Ken, we're here intermittently. So if you do see something, um, you know, if you want to just you know, wait, and, you know, you see us just pull the sun back, hey, you know, this is what I saw, then we can take that information and, because hopefully with that information, we'll be able to try to do something about it. You know, the more information that we have, the better. And uh, overall, we think that it, it's a great help. Um, I think I don't really have much, uh, much more for you. Um, have you always lived here? Uh, well, yeah, I, I, you know, help my community. Yeah, that's totally respectful. Mm -hmm. I, I admire that. Um, so, what did you do in the U.S.? Did it, was it go like for learning? Yeah, for school. Oh, okay. And did you like go to like a college or um, just go? For me, yeah. oh, okay, yeah. that, that, that makes totally sense. makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Um, if uh, uh, did you? No, let's see. How do I put this? Were you a, like? Did you come back with any different no, no, like, ideas or mindsets that you had prior to leaving? You know. Uh, not really, just, you know, when I left it was, you know, not as bad as it was now, but you know, like I said, it's getting better right now. Yeah, so. and of course you came back with that extra knowledge and information in hopes of making your town better, which, uh, just like, just like I, I said before, it's something that's really admirable because not everybody would have the, yeah. the courage to do that. Everybody to, you know, be able to afford what they can and just build up what we lost. So, of course, that's our same you know, mindset, so yeah. I think we're on the same page here. Yeah. It, so that's that's good That's good news. So we're doing house. work, we're in our meetings, you know, that's how okay. we get that accomplished. Okay, got great. So meetings are going well? Okay, so away from town and... Well, uh, I mean, of course it requires travel. Uh, I mean, yeah. people. Okay, right? okay. Mm -hmm. well, how I'm doing business, right? Where, well, no, so yeah, I'm just curious, you know, I'm not... Small yeah, talk, you okay. know. Well, I don't ask you about how you make your money, so. I understand. Yeah. I understand. My town, how I run it, that's my business. I understand. Okay? The only reason I ask is that way mm -hmm. I could better understand, and then that gives me the, you know, the information I need that I could better help and assist, and you know. This is uh, two months in, and we haven't seen much. I'm, all, all I'm seeing is still hostility, and people okay. are still uprising. We see vandalism across our town. Nothing's being done. Okay. All you, brought so, to, all you brought to us is a piece of paper. All that talk about you're going to bring a decision maker out here. We still haven't seen anybody come out here. You know, lower end jobs that are coming up around, which is a good thing. Uh, something oh, like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not seeing it. So. You're not seeing any of that? No, okay, no. okay. Um, coming from your perspective, are you, are, you, are you seeing a job increase or are you seeing any kind of, you know, uh, employers with hiring signs up, or has any of uh, the local business? Is that something that you guys are working with them with? Because other than that, I don't know. No, yeah. I mean, I mean, we're, we're hearing, you know, little things in mm -hmm. here, here and there, but for the most part, we're, you know, that was an effort that maybe some of these meetings that you guys are trying to, you know, conduct and have is, you know, maybe fi focused or centered around bringing some jobs in or anything like that. So, uh, well, I mean, like I said, we're we're doing all these different business calls to try to get uh, more money for this town. So okay. uh, we're working on it on our end. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then, like I said, we're trying to do our end to help, mm -hmm. you know, promote and get that awareness out and, you know, build that unity and peace. So perfect. All right. Um, this is a paper and not really helping out. I mean, we don't well, see I mean, that, the That's what we're trying to do with those pieces of paper. We're trying to get that, I mean... From what we gathered, unemployment was a concern. Okay. So, you know, with the cafe back up and running, people have that opportunity to get in and, and, and do those searches and get that feeling of what's going on and see if there's any kind of rebuilding going on that might lead to future, you know, employment opportunities. So, so you know, like I said, it's, it's a progress. It's a, it's a slow process. Right, well, and being I mean, in those positions, I'm sure you understand that sometimes things just don't happen like that. Yeah, so well, I mean, I like your enthusiasm, but I mean, we still gotta go make some more calls. Like, so yeah, like we would like said. to talk to you some more, but we gotta go. We're busy. So. Like okay. You, like how you say you're busy, we're busy as well. Yeah. Oh so, no, I completely but, understand. Like I said, I mean, we see people going to the internet cafe, so it must be working. But I mean, we just don't. I mean, I don't think all you bring is a piece of paper would help anything. She was super like awesome. Um, so there's a new hire, Grant. Uh, he's a family friend of Ken. Yep. Talks to Grant. Yeah. yeah, so let me let's go talk to John. All right, cool. all you guys bring is just like a piece of paper. You guys, okay. don't, you guys don't actually help, you know. I mean, people people blamed you at first for the the, ra the radio being destroyed, and after a while, people realized it probably wasn't you. And now, and now people are starting to blame you for not helping us. Supportive of it, and they understood it. And I'm just asking because you're the one that seems to be kind of I mean, having a difference of opinion. So the message, I kinda, the message was good, but how how like how is that going to provide work? All, I mean, that's what we're looking for, stability, not, a, not to go to the internet cafe that wasn't broken. So there's more, there's more people coming from outside of town offering 
offering certain work, family. Well, I mean, it's not like we would be, you know, yeah, hindering well, your employment. Yeah, anything we, what that you, you say to us, we'll, you know, uh, we keep I, yeah, I just don't, I just don't trust that at all. Well, would you be able to tell us what kind of work that is? That's just like, some of it's honest, like good work. Some of it's like dishonest work. Could you explain you know, like, like what would be, what would you consider the dishonest part of what, what they what have you What would you consider dishonest work? I, it's my way to feed my family. Okay, so, is there is there any kind of extortion that you're seeing going on? I, I don't I don't know about extortion. I mean, maybe like a little bit of like corruption. I mean, corruption. I mean, okay, I was so. I was the radio programmer. I worked with computers for the for the radio. And I didn't even get hired at my job back. Okay, so so I mean, so these people that are coming in, they're getting these cheaper jobs. It's not it's not the people. It's not you shouldn't look at the people coming into the town. You should look at the people in the town who are saying everything's fine. Okay, right. the mayor and the chief are doing. A sufficient job and trying to bring jobs in because as, as the mayor of the town that, that a lot of that kind of falls on him to be able to you know get that feeling of the town see where unemployment is you well, know I, I don't know you know the, the mayor's doing well for himself I mean I'm not gonna speak on the mayor I, I'm saying so, from your personal I, 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 I'm not gonna speak on the mayor I mean it's a small town so you never know who's listening I, I, I think the mayor's doing well he's doing it he's doing it so you, you think you're, you're, you're saying, you know, he's, you wouldn't change anything that he's doing? I mean, I, I wouldn't say that. Coming from back home, we all have our, our political views and, hey, this could be done better and this could be done better. And I mean, that, that might be American perspective. That's not necessarily how things are here. Okay, so is there a, a sense of hesitation to speak out against the mayor and the chief? I mean, I mean, I, I wouldn't, I mean, that's a very American thing to talk about politics. Oh, I mean... That's one thing to talk about politics, but it's one thing to I say. Just, I just want to feed my family. I understand. I understand. So, I mean, people believed in the coalition, but if we can't feed our families, how are we supposed to believe in the okay. coalition? Um, you, you were talking about uh, the, the papers that we were giving out, and you, you said that, you know, what are they supposed to do? So I ask you, like, uh, what, what would you advise us to do in this situation? You know, like, you're, you live here. You know, you're here all the time. We're not... Uh, what what do you think would be something that we could do I mean, to get people? I mean, I've said if like the coalition come in and bring jobs in and, and try and help people find find work. So how would you how would you want us to bring in jobs? I like, mean, I, I I don't know. I mean, I was just a radio programmer. I mean, maybe if you brought in jobs or it was like an unbiased unbiased way to get jobs, that'd be good. But well, I mean, part of the campaign. I know you're saying like just the flyers just brought in you know more traffic to the cafe. That is an effort to increase customers to decrease the de increase the demand of you know hey we might need more people and hopefully that's what it'll eventually lead to is more employment opportunities for the people in the town you know not just bringing in you know people to the uh, cafe but to increase the number of people coming in so the demand for employment goes up higher do you, do you actually like it do you think it does a good message oh it does a good message yeah. okay yeah so strong strength and unity type of deal is what we get next we're trying to throw around it's like maybe we try to get an occupancy limit so just i don't know what all the bandwidth can handle so like maybe six to ten people set up four ends right mm -hmm. all right so i got you a couple mouse pads the cindy stole one already but uh if you wouldn't mind putting them out in your cafe, that'd be pretty sweet. Blue sky, you know, just nice town, nice people, got a good smile and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything you like about this or dislike that I sh you think I should probably change? Uh, was there anything you changed about it? Like, <laughs> or, you know, maybe switch the beer or something else? Do you think it's cool? Yeah, I think it's fine. All right. Now on the back side, just hanging out, having a good time, right? We got the cell phone, usually that's where you get your memes from, right? Yeah. Uh, just hanging out with the, with the crew there, simple message that joint forces would like to hear, equipment, whatever, you know, stuff like that. Just, you know, what could help the community out. Um, do you think that message is actually clear, easy to understand? Definitely. All right. And then what about this picture of everybody hanging out or anything? Is there anything you change about that? No, anything it's, it's picture, I mean, it'd be better if I was in it. But you know what? It's a good picture. I mean, you want a picture in front of the cafe with me, we can get some stuff going, man. Oh, we can do a lot. I'm, I'm with all that. All right. You want a picture? Can you do it real quick?